people for CCNC Europe, which is part of the Global Enterprise Architecture Training and Consulting Team. We were one of the earliest TOGAF trainers. We've been part of the Open Group for almost 20 years, and we believe in TOGAF. We like it, but there's more to architecture than what we used to do. We need to take those principles and that way of thinking into the modern age. So we asked Kate Platonova of HSBC, who's chief architect for technical domains, to come and speak with us at the Open Group meeting in Amsterdam. Uh, Kate is a champion for diversity, and she is one of the leaders of architecture in the HSBC Global Bank, based in the UK. What we're helping HSBC with. About uh, three or four years ago, we started talking to them about our solution architecture course, which was traditional and designed for more of a traditional type of role. What HSBC are doing is what they call the Technology Academy. They are working with leading training content providers such as ourselves and delivering training through a unified portal across the globe, partly in classrooms, partly uh, online. And a key part of this is the Athena program, which is a particular component of the economy which is designed to empower women who want to move into architecture careers from other parts of the bank. And we've been trying to help with that as well. In order to uh, make the changes that they need, we're supporting HSBC, and this was in the longer presentation which you might want to watch Kate talk about, and moving to what they call decision-driven design, agile design for an agile world. So the old way was to have a design committee. The new way is peer review. The old way, toll gates. The new way, guardrails. Review and approve, long cycles of waiting for someone to look at your work and tell you what they think is replaced with trust and verify. And the whole approach is designed to deliver agile architecture throughout the value chain of IT. The Zhang Zhengge, which I probably pronounced wrong, uh, so Cantonese or Mandarin people can correct me as you like. But these are the three components of the Academy in HSBC. Technical excellence, which is of course essential because we're talking about integrated cross-functional teams doing DevOps, Agile, who need to understand how everything works, plus depth in their own area. Communication mastery, which has always been essential for architects. And leadership power, which is an interesting component, but also very important for architects. Most of what we do in architecture work is not telling people what to do. If we try to do that, they usually stop inviting us to meetings. It has always been helping people to be successful by showing leadership, and this is emphasized in the academy. So we've updated our architecture, uh, solution architecture course to be the architecture fundamentals of the digital age. It's a six-day course now, and we take the students on a journey. We've done about six 25-person classes in HSBC, which is a beginning, because it is a global effort. And the journey starts with understanding context. So in the old way of working, the old waterfall way, it was enough for the enterprise architect to understand the strategy and the customer expectations, and they would create designs, and this would all roll downhill. Except that wasn't really enough, and it didn't work very well when it was important for people doing development or people doing deployment and infrastructure to understand why we have this stuff. It is now important, and everyone sees this today, that's part of what DevOps is about, it's important for everyone to understand this stuff so that we have transparency and traceability from the original demand signal, from the top-down strategy, from the customer expectation, right through to what is delivered put the customer's hands. We take the students through a journey in which they put layer upon layer on a, an architecture about an imaginary company, but that looks a lot like real companies in that it has merger and acquisition issues, it is trying to expand certain lines of business in certain countries, it has demands from customers for changes to products that require changes in IT because my uh, shopping is in my pocket, here it is. My bank is in my pocket. And so architects doing solution architecture need to understand that. We take them through a series of design choices. We talk to them about design patterns, about technology trends, how to deal with non-functional requirements. This is all enterprise architecture stuff that is now 
needs to be part of the understanding of the solution architect and beyond as we flow through the value chain. We talk about the impact of the choices they make on things like time to market and time to value. And we give them a structure, it's a common structure across the group of people who've been through this training, the common semantics, common notations, common kinds of models, common approaches, so that they can communicate in a single way, although it's not with a single voice, so that their work is understandable all around them. And also that it's based on tracing the work that they've done back to the purpose of the business, the purpose of the customers, and it includes things that people need to know about governance and finally about business value. So we're just starting this journey with HSBC. We've been on this with them for about a year and a half, and we uh, feel really good about this new course that we're able to offer, uh, which is helping them a lot, and it's helped us a lot with our own training portfolio to uh, be completely up to date with Agile. The technology choices that HSBC has made to go deeper are these, and uh, each one of them is very important for uh, understanding how to do architecture in an age in which uh, you're not just inside some firewall in some data center, inside some concrete fortress. You actually have to think about how to refactor things for the digital age. You have to think about mobile. You have to understand when and how to use cloud. You have to understand what to do with your application that contributes to the strategic approach to big data and analytics and cutting through all of it. You have to understand what security means in this kind of environment. Other, other people using this training might choose different key technologies, but these seem pretty basic. And when the people have come through this journey after six days in the class, they go away with their own little set of architecture artifacts. It's their own enterprise architecture for that imaginary company, but more importantly, they've learned how architects think. They're on their journey to becoming fully functional architects themselves, and it creates a single way of thinking across the group, which is very important and a big change and will make everything else more successful, we think. So you can watch the full presentation uh, if you like. It's about 45 minutes, and we hope that you do. Thank you.